wah. I couldn't wah. You can't wah. You, you can't can wah. not beat the wah. Holy mother. Welcome back to Anderton's TV. Um, today, Pete and I are going to argue non-stop about whether the Les Paul or the SG is better. And the SG is better. No, the Les Paul I love is better. The, I love a Les Paul, but the SG, every time I play a Les Paul, every time you play a SG, and we, we, it's just like, why haven't we got one of these? So, explain to me. 1952, I don't care, the this is Les better. Paul came out from Gibson. <laughs> Uh, albeit not quite looking like this just yet. So 52, you'd have seen the P90s and a slightly different kind of tailpiece. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess the golden years for the Les Paul were probably 58 when the first burst came mm -hmm. out, or 59, which is what I've got here, when yeah. the first bursts with the flame tops came Oof. out. Uh, Oof. What a stunning Oof. guitar I am using uh, today, a Gibson Custom Shop Murphy Lab aged 59 Les Paul. And I've got to say, for me, this is the most iconic rock and roll guitar of all time. I, I, I tend to agree with, I would agree with that. However, however, in 1961, 60, 61, 61, 61 yeah. um, when it says this on the top here, the, the world, yeah. the world in some bizarre uh, you know, somebody must have put some weird thing in the water and made us all go slightly do lally. Definitely Gibson. Decided that the Les Paul was um, not yeah. very popular and nobody wanted this anymore. Yeah. So what they wanted was this uh, and originally came out actually as the Gibson Les Paul, Les Paul. SG. Yeah. Solid so guitar. So that's why it says Les Paul on here. And what did Les say? He said, no, no, no. He said, I don't like it. I Take don't like my it name off all. it. This is rubbish. He sounded like Tom Jones. Yeah, he did, yeah. Um, and I mean, so for about five years, four or five years, the uh, SG um, was the solid body guitar from yeah. Gibson I, until they finally saw light and reintroduced the Les Paul and they have both been in the catalogue ever since. What, I, what have I, you specifically got there, Pete? This is a 1961 Custom Shop SG. Oof. Boom. Done. Boom. Links below for this one. And it is particularly good. You know what I really love? What I do really you really love? I really love this calf. Do you? Here. You I love the boy. little bat wings sticking out. I love the fact that the neck is sort of almost just falling off the edge there and it feels long even though it's only 24. Well, let, let's talk about that. So yeah. they are both two humbucker guitars. Yeah. Uh, switch is in a slightly different position. Obviously it's moved down by the knobs there. It's up here by the um, neck pickup. Um, they're both mahogany construction. Although the Les Paul has a maple arch top, which you can see and the SG does not. So it's a slightly yeah. thinner, lighter guitar. But far and away, the no biggest thing that you notice, I think, when you're yeah, playing an SG absolutely. versus a Les Paul, is that the neck on the SG, unlike most other guitars, literally joins the body right at the end of the fretboard, at the yeah. 22nd fret. Whereas, uh, as you can see on the Les Paul, the body joins the uh, fretboard, almost like an acoustic guitar, I suppose, here, but down at the uh, sort of 16th fret, just here. It's a very um, different, when you're standing, it's right in the middle of your body. It's right in the center of your body where the neck yeah, is. So it's a very different feel. Even though the scale length, so the, the, um, the distance from the nut to the bridge, and therefore the sort of tension on the strings is much the same. In fact, it's exactly the same scale length. The SG always has a sense that your the neck is a little bit like this it's, it's further feels like that it's further way. away, yeah. Um, in terms of tone, they you know they've both got humbuckers in. Typically speaking, now on modern um, reissues, they call them custom buckers yeah. because back in the day there wasn't really a sense that you know pickups were consistently no, they wound were just, the same. So some were a little hotter, some were a little um, darker. But you got two humbuckers, yeah, and. You know, people don't say wood makes a difference, right? But the I mean, two guitars yeah, sound pretty different. It's a very thin body as well. This is super, super thin compared to I, it. I realise again, um, your your the distance between your pickups is slightly less. Um, not a lot less, but slightly less. So maybe three fingers instead of four fingers. You get three I, I fingers. I get three. I can get like two and, two and a half. And a half. Might uh, scientific way of measuring yeah. these things here. Yeah, yeah. So and what that means when the the bridge pickup relative to the bridge is in the same kind of position on both guitars mm -hmm. so the neck pickup on the les paul is slightly more towards the middle of the strings that'll give it a slightly different tone yeah, you get a bit of a gap here uh See, yeah they've got a little plate there you've got your stain um two volumes and two tones on the guitar you've got the same kind of tuners i've got a slim um, uh 60s neck on here you've probably got a bit more of a chunky neck which means you've I've got, got the more wood i've got the the slightly sh thinner 59 carve versus 58 yeah. but yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll swap so i think to stay consistent 
We'll use your rig for the okay. tone testing. Yeah. Pete's got a little sister, which is... Um, a little sister. Uh, sister. I, actually, it's yours not a little sister or a little sister. I've got a little sister. You've got a little sister yeah. as well. It's so a real-life little sister. But in yeah. here, we've got a Freeman little sister. Um, and that's kind of like a hot-rodded vintage Marshall vibe. Yeah. yeah. So no pedals, Lee. This no is what, pedals. This is what the best. This is what the best guitar in, in this room sounds like on a G chord. On the Brits pickup. Just to put things into context, Pete has got the gain on the amplifier out of 10 at about two and a bit. Yeah, so, so pushes it. If these pickups want to go, right? Yeah, I mean, I absolutely, every time, as I said in the beginning, every time we do a video on the, on the SGs and I play one, I'm like, I need one. It's such a different feeling instrument. And every time I go, it's just the best guitar. It is just the best guitar. Let's do the Dane. You have to play that kind of ro rock and roll on it. It's fat, but it lifts on the neck on the bridge pickup. This guitar, man. Uh, blues driver on the top, or the protein on top of, with the day. It's a tone, man. Better Cali 76 there for the, for the sustain. Right. I mean, I cannot the room, tell you. Anyone can shout out now. Famous SG players. Go. Angus Young. Obviously. Tony Iommi. Yeah. Tony Iommi. Yes. Oh, God. Derek <laughs> Trucks. Derek Trucks. Yeah. Um, uh, Clapton used one. He did. He did. Clapton used one, yeah. He did. Um, and here we are. Now we're John Mayer's played one, too. I've seen him play one. Yeah, it's a picture on screen I right now. I don't think that counts. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sister Rosetta Tharp, the you know, OG, the, the, the yes. pic, iconic picture with uh, the SG with Frank the, Zappa. Frank Zappa. Um, Gary, then, Gary Clark Jr. Gary Clark Jr. Yeah, he does, and he plays. Yeah, yeah he does. okay, yeah, we'll does, take that. Does, well done. Does, also, yeah. though, again, I think he's more Epiphone Casino, isn't he? But Max, he's gone SG well, recently. Gone I mean, to... anyway, it doesn't matter. It's still the best sounding guitar. All right, okay, okay. You, you, what when you get this in your hand, you're going to go, oh yeah, I get it. It's a lot lighter. A lot lighter. A lot lighter. A lot less neck on it. Lots, in fact, if you if you dive on over to the Andersons website, all of our custom shop guitars are individually weighed and photographed. I think Way. this is under seven pounds. It's super light. And this typically, I don't actually know for that one, but most of the Les Pauls come out somewhere around about the nine pound mark. Some yeah. slightly less. Yeah. Some slightly yeah, yeah, more. Yeah. Much more Much brighter, bright. isn't it? It's the who were we talking about? The maple cap and the ma maple. <laughs> Joe, we were saying, Joe White, weren't we? Yeah, the, and they had, uh, they've got the maple cap and the the, the uh, mahogany back inside gives it that sort of. That's crazy. So you say the wood doesn't make a difference. Uh, hey I, man, I've given up the argument now. I feel but like you can I, hear I feel it. like it's I've been the tainted pickups. by these well, unpotted pickups. Yeah, I mean. They're, you know, so they we, should, we, we spent the day with a, a, a very well respected um, sort of luthier slash repair man. Yeah, and his son. Um, yeah, called uh, Joe White, who has looked after all sorts of superstars. And we were talking about, we had one of Pete's guitars over there, and we were sort of saying, it's, it's, it's quite bright, isn't it? And we've got the same set of pickups as in this other guitar, and it seems brighter than that. Well, Why is that? Blah, blah, and blah. And, the, and he's like, well, it's obviously the wood, isn't it? And we sort of go, oh, yeah, but people on the internet say it can't be the wood. And he just looked at us like we were just ignorant children. And he's an electric. Yeah. Uh, who's electric? His, uh, son was a, his son was like a professor-level electrical engineer Yeah, who travels around the world and talks and, about it. And, and uh, he was like, I can't understand and it. And Joe's got like 
50 years repairing yeah. and he's and even just like son was like they're both just, it's like it's the wood you, anyway, there's nothing else that look, could be than anyway, go, whatever, if you don't believe this go anyway. and watch all those videos yeah. that prove that we're wrong because yeah. that's fine <laughs> there's loads of those as well just read the comment section but, and go yeah. on Facebook because Facebook is always right or speak to people that play guitar and they'll tell you that wood does make a difference yeah. anyway <laughs> uh, well, put a p string from here to here and to pick up in the middle it sounds exactly the same as this pole anyway here we go so Still brighter on the top, but and bassier on the neck. Yes, but that's the mahogany, and then you got the maple top. But on no, it. but that's I mean, relative to this, I think this sits in a much more, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely, you know, focused mid range tone, whereas yeah. that has more top end and more yeah. bass end, this maybe is... less mid range. It's got a more clacky, uh, clacky. Well, Let's not forget when this guitar came out, we didn't have Marshall amplifiers and slash or any of that no, stuff. No, there were no. We had no. We had Les Paul playing, you know, super lots of fast jazz runs and all. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was his signature guitar. So you forget it. Les Paul is actually his signature guitar. Lots of people forget about that. Anyway, uh, Dane first. <laughs> Protein blue side, Cali 76. It's a good sounding bloody guitar, right. man. Wow. I, I tell you where the Les Paul will win. Wow. Let's name some famous Les Paul players. <laughs> no, don't have it. Gary all Moore. of them. Gary Moore, yeah, Slash, all of them. Uh, all of them. Oh, everyone yeah. from the all Eagles and the I know. Allman I know. Brothers. I know, and, I know, I know, but, but uh, hang Paul Kossoff. Wait, 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 um, wait. And wait. Eric Clapton again, if I didn't say it already before. Wait, wait, here. It's a much more mid-range. It's focused in the middle, isn't top it? And low ends. It's amazing. It, it was really odd. We, this conversation we had with Joe White wow. recently. He before we even started talking because we, we had Pete's telecasters over there. I, I do like. And it. before <laughs> before we even started talking about Les Pauls, he just straight out the bat he said Les Paul is the ultimate electric guitar. He said yeah. it's got the right combination. You've got the mahogany on the back for the sort of fatness and sustain. You've got the maple on the top for the brightness. You've got the humbuckers that give it the power. And he was, it was like straight off the bat. Yeah. Like, it's a really interesting conversation. But so, you know what? It's all opinions, right? I get it. If you don't what? shout at the camera because we, you disagree with us, because no. if you prefer something else, that's totally fine. It's fine with us. Um, don't, do, uh, can you play them a bit? Just, you have a little well, play. I, I really want to do a, a no talking, just like Two things: a like you three chords, talking. three chords on that, yeah. and a sustaining note, yeah. and then the same three chords and the same sustaining note okay. on this. I'm gonna play the that note that John Mayer doesn't like at all. This one. Okay, so uh, here we go. Here's the Dane, the blue side of the protein, the Cali 76 for sustain. That's it. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it, it's the woodman. Uh, can I just do an E chord and just hold it and then do that one afterwards, please?
that's interesting because it takes longer to come in with the, with the and it's a completely different feedback tone it's much more that where that what it's much more that if you have the curve you know Th what I mean? this one almost to be honest with you has a more of a microphonic feedback yeah it's like particularly those higher end feet so yeah. again they're obviously not an identical set of pickups so there's always going to be that differential between the two but yeah certainly sounded like the, the les paul had maybe a greater sustain and it went into feedback faster Quicker. yeah and um, it's got the top end of it where this one is just a mid-rangey mid hump where the yeah. last one has got low end and I mean, oh my god i do love les paul is just is it the perfect guitar Oh, it's the 335 the perfect. You play, can you play a bit for us? Just uh, see what you yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you I, haven't played this yet. No, you're right. And well, that's the next one. Let's do it. We, we talked about the 335. You know, again, I think we uh, why doesn't why can't we include Joe Bonamassa in the list of oh, yeah. people who play <laughs> SGs or Les? Because he plays everything. He, everything he has, and he, he probably has five of everything. Probably twenty of he everything. Plays it magnificent. Uh, as well. Right, no pedals. I have nothing switched on here. Oh, and obviously my amplifier is the Victory V140, which is much cleaner. The, just that yeah. sense of oomph at the bottom that just... Oomph in the bottom. Um, it's so much less bright. Is it, that, that's my favourite. Yeah. Bridge pickup on an SG yeah. does a growly thing. And when you do that, if you were playing a blues and A, you know, like Angus Young does, and you just hit those short bursts of notes, all that stuff with a bit of gain on it, like this martially type yeah. tone, it's really difficult to I bet to you speak. a lot of the Angus Young reason he was drawn to an SG in the first place is he's so like acrobatic he's when he's on stage animatic yeah. uh, animated that was more the word yeah he's, he's not he's not doing backflips but uh, I can imagine that having something as heavy as a Les Paul running neck would yeah, just yeah. break you yeah. after a while yeah um let's try high on all sorts so of I things. was using my favorite little sort of Marshally pedal is is the sheriff so that's a great sound The, got, the, the mid got, range, isn't it? It's just. I've got too much reverb on for an ACDC sound, but yeah, it yeah. did sound. How oh, glorious is that mid range? It's great. God, it's, it's, it's so much brighter. Yeah. It almost sounds fizzy. It's almost uh, telecastery on the neck pickup. It's got that sort of uh, almost a single coily thing because it's on potted, and it, it's you know what I mean. It's the same as my fifty-eight on little, the neck pickup. A little it's bit of compression. Sort of... I, I love on both these guitars because the Les Paul has a slightly shorter scale length than a Strat. It's so easy to over uh, like over bend or. So you, it's so easy to get that tone and a half rather than a than just a tone. You know how to overbend. What, that, we, what we've not done is is that sort of rolled back. Do you know what? Woman I don't know where, where's the woman tone on here? Let's try it. that sort of so that's the tone all the way down 
Oh, I don't know what key I'm in now. Such a good rock and roll yeah. tone. Too much reverb, it, it, though. Too much yeah, reverb. I've got too much reverb. It reminds me, um, reminds me a little bit of what the, like a, a Gretsch Filtertron sounds like. A little bit yeah, grouchy. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Mute the mic. It reminds me a bit like a Gretsch Filtertron, where it's that bit barkier. But that can oh. only be the wood. It can only be down to the shape <laughs> and the wood, Lee. Hopefully that has helped you make a decision that you need to own both. Yeah, I was just about to um, say that. You absolutely... That's the only correct answer here. My goodness me, though. But if you could only have one, Mr. Pete, and you guys out there, comment please below. If you could only have one, are you going Camp SG or Camp uh, Les Paul? Um, I don't know, man. It's a difficult one. It's a very difficult... I think overall, probably Les Paul. Yeah, you change but, your mind. At no, the end. but I, I would if if I, if I only choose one, I think th there's I can do more with this than I can with that. Mm. But it's so difficult to to decide. But luckily, I'm not in the decision. I I, to, I I don't have to make that decision. But I absolutely want to have an SG again. I haven't had one since twenty years, twenty five years. Mm. I had an old seventy four SG and I sold it, and it was stupid because it was wonderful, and yeah. I want one back again. What about you? You pick this, Paul. I, do you know what? I, I, you don't have to pick it either. I you can genuinely, do both, you know? genuinely, I'm really liking that slightly darker tone of the yeah. SG. Visually, yeah. it's got a bit less Paul, isn't it, really? I, yeah, I see, visually, I, 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 I like that, Bella. Right, OK, so I'm going... Yeah. I, I'm sorry, uh, SG fans, I'm going Camp Les Paul as well. I'm, so yeah. well, Camp I'm, Les Paul yeah. wins 2-1. to one, But what it does mean is, is Camp SG comes a very close second um, and needs to be owned. We need, I need one of those. Oz is shaking his head. Oz, Oz is SG all the way through. Tay? SG. SG? Oh, go on. Look at that. The late draw. Right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to go see you uh, as well. Absolutely. We shall see you next time. Au revoir. Goodbye.